It's a slow Sunday night in Uptown Towson, where university students would usually cram into one of the many bars just a stone's throw away from the school. Considered by many to be a bar school, the Uptown scene in Towson attracts patrons of all ages, including some underage bargoers trying to have a night on the town. According to Towson University's Director of Judicial Affairs, Pat Frowley, local authorities are cracking down on underage drinking. Since this time last year, the number of fake ID citations has more than tripled as a result of increased police enforcement around the Towson area, especially at bars like this, the Charles Village Pub. Recent grants to the Baltimore County Police Department have made this upsurge in fake ID and alcohol-related citations possible, but for bouncers and doormen, it's just another day on the job. Some even joke about the IDs they've seen. This guy came in that was at least three inches shorter than me, you know, he must have been 5'6", five, 5'7", five, and I uh, tried to use an ID that said he was six foot. So right away, you know, I, I said, really, you know, you're six feet tall, and he gave a response like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm still growing. Some older students, those now of age to drink in bars, admit to having slipped under the radar of law enforcement. Those like Towson Senior, Samantha Lee. Like, I had another fake ID, it wasn't me, it was someone else. And they, then they start to crack down more if it's real or not. And they don't really look at you, they just kind of look at the IDs and give it back to you. Um, I've been turned down a bunch of times, but they didn't, never take it away. And other than that, um, I've pretty much gotten it never, everywhere. <laughs> Under university policy, students cited for fake IDs are made to write a five-page paper on the dangers of underage drinking. For Tower Lit Video, I'm Nick DeMarco.